is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Let's field it a few yards. And they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on the ball. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. On second down now, it's Coleman. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 30. No brings up third down. At 80, 51 to Mike. Here we go, D. Faking the give to Johnson. Now it's Stafford. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. He'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. First and 10 at the 35. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Now a play fake it at Stafford. That's to his running back, carry on Johnson. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First down. From the red zone now, Stafford. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back at the 29. Hassan Reddick. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. From the gun, it's a handoff to Coleman. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. The Lions on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Now Stafford. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that on, one? What does that mean, break out the, just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter.
And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll bring up second down. Now on second and 13, Murray steps away to his left. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 31-yard line. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Murray's throw on target to coming up at the half will join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The Sorry. coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. On second and one, Murray. Despite the blitz. He's got his man. It's to go now. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. On first down at Stafford. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford, catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Stafford on third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But and the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Take it in at the 22. That'll be putting the to the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way. I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Devon Kennard. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And a pretty good run, all things. Throwing is Murray on third down. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. And you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. No offense. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. On first down, Drake. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. On second and two, Murray. Open man is Ross complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. Montgomery a first down and then some. And down to the 16-yard line. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. 
Four here plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Tracy Walker in on the tackle. They stay on the ground with Drake. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. On third down, Drake. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Can you time hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Chandler Jones able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. After the sack on first down, Stafford, and his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time, but now it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. The shotgun snap for Stafford, and that is incomplete. The one with the dime look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And taken right on the 30. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Cardinals. And here, what I mean by that is, possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Jermaine Curse. And it's third and four. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Stafford, it's caught, Jones, and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. Stafford now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Stafford looks to throw again, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker Jordan Hicks. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play. It's a foot race. He's at the 40, 20, 10. Touchdown, Detroit. Tevin Coleman. His second touchdown. He's driving at the line, the Cardinal offense. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? What we got? What we got? What we got? Get up, get up. They'll run on first down. It's Drake, and he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now at Ford Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 42. 3rd and 2, and here's Murray. Cooper's got him. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 30. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. 
run blitz there defensively something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter I think we'll see a lot of it and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz pass blitz you're just trying to get to the quarterback you're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground in a run blitz you're actually trying to cover up gaps trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football 12 yards the pickup good enough for an Arizona first Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And then when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunity. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. And Aitons now have it first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing is Stafford on the screen. This is Coleman. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Stafford. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. The Lions on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and six. Now Stafford. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. He had his sights on the end zone, no doubt, but is brought down at field. On first down, Drake. Nigel Bradham brings him down. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Murray now on first down. This one caught by Isabella. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Ten yards on the... On second down, it's Drake. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory... Not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. From the gun on third down, Stafford. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Stafford here coming off his pick six. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. That
But this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. Stafford on first down. Uh, defensively, I know they have... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Byron Murphy. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. 